uh, blockchain uh, special events, uh, as well as known as distributed ledger technology special event, tech event. Um, so I'm Mike Bennett, I'm the co-chair of the Finance Main Task Force, and we're basically co-hosting this along with the um, Middleware Related Services Task Force to put this together. Um, what you should also know is we've been working on blockchain and things for a couple of years of finance, and the things got a bit too big for us, so we're also at the end of this week launching a blockchain uh, platform special interest group, so uh, stay tuned for that. So for today, as you can see, we have a, a very full program. Um, the first session, in fact, Dr. Soli can't be here for this, so our first uh, introduction will be from Dr. Nick Stavros, who has about five decades of experience in uh, modeling of various large-scale systems and things, an interest in cloud computing and internet of things, and has a PhD from Virginia Tech that does a lot of government work. So, so Mr. Stavros, um, over to you. And uh, you may have to keep with it in the past because that thing is good. Okay. First, I need to say welcome from the OMG. There's some administrative stuff, there's a password, there's a meeting uh, right. information for getting onto the Wi Fi. There's also some sign up sheets that are going around, and it really helps us if you do the sign up sheets so that we can keep the statistics that need to be kept in order to be able to do things. And with that, I'd like to welcome you from the OMG to the blockchain. <laughs> Hello. You have to do the math. stuff. This is the OMG, the Object Management Group. Um, uh, we have been, we were founded in 1989. There are 325 member organizations worldwide who, who participate in it. Um, one, of, one of the largest and longest standing nonprofit open membership uh, consortiums, developing and maintaining computer industry specifications. Uh, continuously evolving to maintain, remain uh, current while retaining a position throughout the leadership. Um, it's, these are some of the uh, more, more well-known standards that we've worked on. The UML, most people know, if they've been in software, they know UML. Um, either it's been a torture that they did in, in school and to get an assignment done, or they actually got some real work done in, in, in the workplace. The BPMN, the Business Process Modeling Notation, there was a great demonstration yesterday about that. Uh, it's basically modeling your, your business processes through graphics, um, just modeling language, yeah, SysML. Uh, data distribution service, which happens to be one of my passions, is a real-time publish subscribe paradigm, um, uh, kind of a follow-on to some of what was going on more earlier with Corva. Um, Corvo uh, is the uh, object broker. Um, allows you, you know, it's been it's used extensively and it's still being used. It's not uh, currently under a lot of expansion. The XML metadata exchange, which allowed the UML model vendors to be able to exchange models, so you could work in different vendors. Um, so those are some of the standards. Um, modeling platforms, UML, uh, UPDM, SysML, BPMN, and related work, middleware platforms, Mars, uh, has DDS and Corva and related specs. And that's a broad, very big category of what we work on in Mars. Uh, systems Assurance, 
industry, both vendors and users. It's a nonprofit. The once you become involved in OMG, it becomes very obvious that we are a different kind of organization because it's a democracy. You vote, you, you, you have participation. It's not uh, some big guy coming in and saying this is how it's going to be. It's it's and we have very strict rules about how specifications have to be done and you have to follow the rules and you have to there's 90 days before something has to happen. It has to be 90 days or you have to wait for the next business cycle. Um, those are things that, that are, and once you start living in that community, you really respect what governance and good governance is all about. Next slide. Oh, you can visit us at omg.org. And be sure you be careful about how you type in omg because sometimes it ends up with things that you don't want. <laughs> uh, who are the OMGers? Uh, there's a whole list here. I'm not going to go through the list. Um, and this is a, there's a lot more people here than, than that. Um, and it's, so it's industry coming together to build, to, I like to think of it as when we write a specification, we're building a marketplace. Because once you have a specification, you have now made it so that you have a marketplace where vendors can come and consumers can come and buy and sell <coughs> and look at things. If you don't have, if you don't have a specification, it becomes I, I, I dominate, I give you this, you can buy that. Once you get a specification of a marketplace, the marketplace has actually increased the volume of traffic and the amount of people who want to use it. Um, so that's a list, there's a whole lot there. Next slide. Um, oh, did we already do this? Or did we already come back to the time? Oh, okay. Okay. Uh, because we're here in blockchain, I want to put a few extra slides in here. Uh, this kind of just gives you an idea of the magnitude of the problem, the, the excitement about what's going on, why people are interested. Um, the, the cryptocurrency world, which is riding on the top of blockchain, distributed ledger technology, is there. Just you know, it's three hundred and forty billion dollar market cap. You can go to this uh, coin market cap, and it's changing continuously. Uh, now that Bitcoin has kind of crashed, its market cap isn't quite as big as it used to be. But so there's all this interest in how to use blockchain, distributed ledger, uh, hash graphs, whatever it happens to be. There's lots of interest in it. So um, I just wanted to have this slide up there for you, for you to know, kind of an introduction of where we're going to go today. Next slide. Um, this slide just kind of gives you an idea of the progression over four years or five years of the interest. And this is an inter interactive site. I can give you this, the thing. But it, the first slide starts out, it's, you can hardly see a blip out there. And then by the second year, you can start to see some activity. The third year, the fourth year, and then the fifth year, it says, and it is an explosion. That's why we all hear about it. Every time you go to some meeting, somebody says, oh, we should solve that with blockchain. And it's like, OK, do you really know what you're talking about? Um, I don't know what we're talking about a lot of times, and so this is why I, this is why this is so, so important for us to start this effort, for us to do these things. Next slide. Um, the current state of the blockchain, cryptocurrency, distributed ledger, collectively, we, I refer to it as Dido, because I got tired of, you know, to me, distributed ledger is a technology that's used to solve the problem. Um, Blockchains are a technology that's used to solve the problem. Hash graphs are a way of solving the problem. So I needed a more general term, and I just used DITO, which stands for um, uh, Distributed Immutable Data Objects. And whether that's a file system or whether that's uh, Bitcoin or cryptocurrency, it doesn't matter. But I wanted to have that up there. Um, when I wrote this slide, there were 1,300 uh, different cryptocurrencies. And there's a lot of excitement going on about what's going on there. There's a market cap of 350, I said that before. Charles Hoskins, who uh, helped found Ethereum. A couple of the keynote things, Mike. It goes away very quickly. I was moving it. 
Okay, so some of the highlights there are people are blind, uh, blinded uh, by the fast and easy money. Let's get into there. There's a lot of money to be made. Okay, so let's do that. Uh, regulation is the biggest risk to the, the community because they're afraid that at some point we're going to have to start regulating because people are going to get hurt. And when people get hurt, then the government usually steps in and says we can't do that anymore. So he, he foretells of that. And then um, startups raising money through ICOs skip the safeguards required to tradition for traditional securities. That's in the cryptocurrency world. But that's also happening in whether it's supply chain or whether it's um, any of the other aspects that we're using for, for DIDOs, they're skipping the safeguards that have been putting in good software engineering practices, uh, running software through lints and running software through all those other things. Let's go to the next slide. So not only is there a lack of uh, regulation a problem, here's one example. CoinDash ICO was interrupted because investors were instructed by Ether to buy Ether from Ethereum and send them to this smart contract using a site through the smart contract. Or the site's address had been hacked and CoinDash lost $7 million in a single day and I was corrected yesterday that it was in 37 minutes. Yep. In 37 minutes they lost that amount of money. And that was a, a simple hack <coughs> of re re uh, redirection that somebody went in and changed the URL where they were supposed to send the money to. And that would have been something that in any software engineering traditional thing before you release things, you would have run it through all kinds of uh, checkers. And we have all, a lot of that, those kind of standards. ISO has a lot of those standards. <coughs> but that's just one example. Uh, earlier in 2016, Ethereum itself was hacked by decentral Decentralized Autonomous Organization, a DAO, <coughs> use of a smart contract that cost $64 million. These are ICOs, but it doesn't matter whether you're talking about ICOs or strawberries in a field in a supply chain or medicine. These are the kinds of hacks that we have to go. And so you need good specifications and standards and ability to be able to make sure that what you deploy is actually usable. Um, it's time for a deeper dive into the activities, ar uh, architectures, and standards that are available and those that are missing. And we have a really good set of people who are going to present today. I think the one that I'm presenting is the best, though. Of course. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but so anyway, we have really good people talking about a whole range of uh, spectrum of things that have to do with what I call Dido, blockchain, security ledger, hash graphs, whatever they happen to be, whatever you want to call them. That's what we're discussing today. And so without further ado, I turn it back over to Mike, who will then Introduce the next speaker.